Giano is a charming town of 2,000 inhabitants situated on the eastern side of Capo di Leuca. Its territory is part of the authentic Italian villages and it offers its visitors a wide variety of beauties, ranging from the historical and artistic monuments of great value to the lateral landscapes surrounded by countryside and sea. The territory of Tijano still retains the typical spontaneity of Salento, a land characterized by fruitful olive groves and ancient and traditional architectures belonging to the peasant culture, such as stone terraces, Pagliare and fortified farmhouses. It is no coincidence that the famous Hollywood couple Helen Mirren and Taylor Hackfoot has recently settled in their countryside home in Tijano after the renovation of Torre Matine, an ancient 16th century farmhouse. The olive trees grow luxuriantly in the surrounding countryside and they take the form of green fields which extend throughout the whole territory of Tijano. Over the centuries, the olive crops have supported the local economy thanks to the production of the precious olive oil. Among the olive trees, it is easy to see the ancient payare, some rural architectures made with stones extracted from the countryside. These ones were used as depots and warehouses or for the keeping of animals. In the summer, they were used as homes too. The olive growing heritage has been passed from father to son and still today one can notice the strong devotion in the care of trees and agricultural funds. Even the historic center has today interesting traditional architectures and it is enriched by aristocratic houses and places of worship. The first documents about Tijano date back to the Angevin period, when the hamlet was part of the county of Alessano. Walking through the small streets of the old village, you can be charmed by the simplicity of the territory among the scent of the fresh basil and the warm colors of the plazas or other local tuff. In Ovidio Street, you can admire the characteristic arch named Arco dei Trenta Cani, a 16th century building which imposes its solemn shapes on the small surrounding houses. The sober religious devotion of the local aristocracy is visible in the oratory dedicated to St. Michael the Archangel. Dating from the 1590, it was built upon the Artella family, ancient lords of Tijano. Nearby the chapel, there is the house doorway of the Artella family. Its heraldic coat of arms, characterized by a checkered cross, stands on the top of the building. and decorated in Baroque style, the church was restored in the 18th century. The building stands on an older religious complex, where you can see architectural and ornamental traces dating back to the 13th and 16th centuries. Inside, you can notice marbled ornaments which give solemnity to the environment and exalt the shades of the side altars. At the entrance, there is a stoned baptismal font which dates back to 1585 and it is among the oldest ones in the Cabo di Leuca. Saint Alessandro Saulis altar is linked to the feudal events of the ancient village. The saint was the Pazio Serafini Saulis Ancessa, Baron of Tijano, who commissioned the chapel. The painting of artistic worth was painted in 1780 by Saverio Lillo, a painter from Rufano, and it portrays Saint Alessandro while blessing faithful people. The church also contains the ancient Madonna of Constantinople's painting, 
dating back to the 1580s. It is one of the treasures of the noble Archela family. The characteristic iconography evokes the brutal Turkish attacks that struck the coasts of southern Italy for centuries. Among the many ornaments are those of the wooden coin placed in the apse of the church. The stalls are painted in tempera and dating back to the first years of the 17th century. The church is dedicated to the Byzantine Saint Hypatio, Bishop of Gangre and patron saint of Tijano, celebrated on the 19th of January. On the occasion of the patronal feast, it is common to eat the Pestanache de Santo Pati, a variety of carrot typical of the Tijano area. The Serafini Sauli Baronia Palace is situated in the center of Tijano. As a good part of the feudal buildings in Terra do Trento, the palace once was a defensive structure and an aristocratic residence, and over time it has undergone many architectural modifications. The profile of the ancient siding tower dates back to the 16th century. It was then incorporated in the 17th century palace. Still today, you can see the magical ancients placed on the top of the building and a small bell gable. Very interesting is the representative balcony carved and sculpted in characteristic Baroque iconographies adorning the Serafini Sully's monogram, parents and feudal lords of Tijano. Since 1985, the building is a property of the municipality and it houses different cultural realities like the library, the conference room and the museum. The palace has spacious and bright environments with a colorful and precious floor in Majolica. Today, the municipal council meets in the conference room. From here, you can access the ancient oratory of the palace where you can notice a refined Rococo altar carved in later stone. In the internal rooms of the palace, there is the Museum of the Rural Civilization. Many traditional utensils and objects of the last century, heritage of the silent rural world, are preserved here. It is possible to admire the reconstruction of a typical bedroom of the past with an original weaving loom exhibited. Once, local women realized the trousseau and the clothes for the family. Thanks to the Memorandum of Intent, signed by the municipality and the couple Mirren Hackford, the palace's rooms will house the Western Cinema Museum, focusing on spaghetti Western Italian culture. From the courtyard of the Baronia Palace, you can access the delightful Italian style garden enriched by magnolias and perfumed citrus trees. 
The garden is organized in eight flowers beds divided by a perimeter and central road system. An enchanting scenario characterized by the inner facade of the palace and the arches which frame the entrance. For a few years, the cooperative Terra Rossa has launched a beekeeping project for harvesting honey produced by bees and derived from the orchard's nectars. On the garden's perimeter, there is a dovecote tower used in the past for the breeding of birds. The green area of the palace opens in a large park of Mediterranean vegetation characterized by tall holm oaks and pines. The long boulevard ends with a coffee house, a pavilion structure used as an architectural decoration and resting place. Here the visitors are immersed in the present nature and an environment dedicated to fitness activities and free time of families and children. The coastal landscape of Tijano is dominated by the 15th century tower in Asparo, a tower placed at the top of a rocky spur at 130 meters above the sea level. The military structure is part of the altered system of the coastal towers situated in the province of Terra do Trento. It was built in 1565 on the orders of Duke d'Alcala, Vice-Ra of the Kingdom of Naples. In the past, he communicated with Torre Palane, situated on the coast of Marina Serra, near Tucase, and with Torre Specchia Grande, situated on the Serre of Corsano. On the province of Terra d'Otranto's maps, the tower is also called Torre di Valiano, by its namesake, an ancient farmhouse once situated near Tijano. From Torin Aspera, you can reach the sea by walking along the Belvedere to closely enjoy the wonderful panorama. Here, the horizon blends in with the wonderful blue of the Mediterranean Sea. The slopes of the Salento Hills drop sheer to the sea by projecting their shadows. The olive trees form terraces overlooking the sea, while the ancient dry stone walls stand out on the fields of red clay. The easterly wind carries the strong sense of the spontaneous vegetation which grows luxuriantly and in abundance on the Tijanus coast. When the sun sets, the coast takes on picturesque colors and shapes. It is an invitation to enjoy the beauties of Tijano, a land able to combine the landscape's authenticity with the local tradition.